I feel like I bought less products. Do you think I bought less products? <laughs> Let me know, I guess. Help me out. Trying to go natural. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Yay, yay! The Black Friday haul video is here. This is when you guys just watch me squeal about my new products, so I don't know, but people like to watch it. But anyway, let's get started. I have all this good stuff to show you guys. I'm gonna just tell you what I got, why I bought it. Maybe what I remember about the sale prices and everything like that. So let's get started. Starting off with Honey's Handmade. It was like 60% off, I think. 65. I don't know, but the sale was crazy. And I got on it. I basically got a bunch of deep conditioners. Because I know that's her thing. And then I got like a couple of leave-ins and stylers as well. So I was just looking for things I haven't tried. I like all of her products, but nothing really stands out as different or better than the rest. I would say they're all just pretty much good solid products I'm just picking it out of the box at random so no particular order I have this coconut water leave-in conditioner somehow me and coconut water coconut milk tend to get along so I saw that and I got it the ingredients wasn't as well listed as I usually like but I kind of trust her like she has natural stuff in there so I'm not gonna really fight her down but this is all I see for ingredients but yeah it has some xanthan gum I think it's probably gonna give me nice moisture and hold coconut water aloe vera juice aloe oil xanthan gum we'll see sale was good yeah <laughs> elderberry and black seed babasu mask show you the ingredients so the ingredients are like super simple to the point where I'm almost nervous, but it usually works out, so I didn't worry too much. Elderberry black seed will be interesting to try and just see what I think, so that's mostly why I got this. So I got this 007 <laughs> orange olive and agave hair conditioning mask. So once you mention the agave, you know the humectant is there and I'm very comfortable. Orange, again, I think it'll be really fun to use in terms of scent, because I like my scents. Nut and honey conditioning hair milk. So this is interesting as well. Basically anything I said, deep conditioner, conditioner, leave-in conditioner, and had interesting ingredients I bought. It looks like more like a leave-in kind of thing, I guess. Maintain daily moisture and wash and go styles. I don't know. Her usage instructions could do it some work also, but I think it's a leave-in. When properly, when used properly, how do you use it, boo? Always a mystery with her, <laughs> but I'm gonna use it as a leave-in, I guess. And that's that for that one. Then we have the coconut water slip and slide glycerin free gel. So the last time I tried to buy like a styler from her, it didn't really work out because it was more of just like a cream. I did have like a slide hole, but it definitely wasn't a gel. So I'm trying again. Like I don't really care how big or um, laid my hair is, so. I am kind of free to experiment with gels. If you need your hair to be laid or you have an identity crisis, then this may not be the life for you. But for me, if it's big, if it's flat, it's whatever. So I'm giving this a whirl. It does have beeswax, which I'm a little bit cautious about. And I don't really see any super gelling ingredient in here. Like I said, I don't know. She's listing things funny these days. Like I'm not seeing the full ingredients. She's just giving us some kind of key ingredient thing. I was going to kind of open it for you all with a seal, so forget it but this is most likely not gonna be a gel most likely just gonna be like a cream again that's gonna be give me some hole but not really be a gel but anyway we'll see you'll see still going <laughs> um we have this blueberry yoga deep conditioning mask so that's back to what i was saying in terms of like it's a mask it's safe can't go wrong yoga my hair loves blueberry something good so went with it <laughs> I love honey, I love honey mass. It has goat's milk, cumin and honey. Sounds really exciting. So I might even use this one first, I don't know. This one is sounding the most exciting. I was gonna say something else, don't worry what I was gonna say. So I'll probably use this one first when I'm doing like the wash day with the I hope it's a leave-in, leave-in. And the hope is a gel gel. Yeah. Yucca mango honey growth thickening hair lotion. It has mango and honey. <laughs> I really don't like this whole key ingredient thing she's doing. She started off good with the full list and then she's starting to drop back. I would email her my suggestion, but you know, you know. But she's not gonna respond and I doubt she'll take me on, so yeah. 
I don't know, maybe I'll go on the website. Maybe the website had a better, like a fuller list um, of ingredients than this. I don't know. So next we have Inasi Naturals. You guys know I love the leave-in. The co-wash I think I used was very moisturizing but not super cleansing. So I was happy to be able to go back and get some more stuff. I got the shampoo this time, so hopefully that will be more cleansing. The deep conditioner, of course I want to try the deep conditioner. Hello, I'm a deep conditioner girl. And I got her gel, which I'm super excited to try. And I got more of the leave-in, which I love. I got this soothing mint, sulfate-free, gentle cleanser shampoo. Like I said, I'm shampooing a lot these days. So anything, any shampoo that's cleansing and moisturizing, I'm interested I want it. So this is the, these are the ingredients. Seems like a pretty basic shampoo. Hopefully the aloe vera juice will give me some moisture. We'll see what happens with it. It's supposed to be gentle cleansing, but decal glucoside is pretty strong for me. So hopefully the glycerin and aloe vera juice can counteract that. We'll see. You'll see, because I'll definitely do uh, a nasty wash day. Then I got the soothing mint moisturizing conditioner, which is a bit random, because you guys know I don't really use like fancy rinse or conditioners. But I probably will use this as a leave-in or something. I like to use these like as leave-ins under like extreme wet line on like harsh gels because it helps to soften the hole and add moisture. It also has hyaluronic acid if you please which is supposed to be like some fancy super moisturizing thing. So this one I want to try probably in the spring and I'll let you guys know. But I think that's probably why I got this. That's what probably kind of Pique my interest with this, the hyaluronic acid. Then I got the deep conditioner mango hemp restorative hair mask. So I really haven't been doing protein treatments or anything lately. I've been a completely, totally lazy natural. Lazy is natural. You're not lazier than me. Lazy. So anything with protein, I'm kind of happy to give it a whirl just to get some protein in there while I deep condition. So again, the ingredients aren't like super exciting. But just going by how much I love the leave-in, I feel like these products are really well formulated. I think she's a chemist too, um, the owner, so... And this also has a hyaluronic acid, so... Yeah. <laughs> so I am kind of curious to see what that will do for my hair. Of course the leave-in, which you guys know I love, the aloe hibiscus leave-in. It's in my best um, products of 2018, and I guess it's going to be my best product of 2019 as well. Spoiler alert, um, I have to do that video, I still haven't done it. Still hoping to get some last minute entries in the best of. Um, but anyway, this also has the hyaluronic acid, maybe that's why I love it so much, I don't know. I really like that she's working that in. She's bringing us her knowledge, her chemistry knowledge I guess, to hair products. You know, you can like use some of the safer chemical ingredients and preserve a product even without maybe using more expensive natural stuff. And I'm not really against that. I'm not like a no chemicals kind of for the sake of no chemicals. I just don't really want to use plastics and polyquarts and things that are actually dangerous to your health and stuff. If she has something like hyaluronic acid, I'm actually excited to try it. I already tried this leave-in and I love this leave-in. This is my favorite leave-in I want to say. I don't know, it's my top three favorite leave-ins with the Bakura Honey Latte and the Shotanicals Frizz Whiz. This is the main reason why I bought everything else because I'm like, some other thing has to be as good as this, right? So, yeah. Coconut avocado curly finding custard. Looking at the texture, looking at the color and stuff, it does look like a real custard. In other words, I expect it to have at least some hole. I kind of like the packaging. I like the brown on this too. It's kind of cute. The methyl cellulose is like the key gelling ingredient. It's possible I might even just decide to use this with the rinse out conditioner because this looks like it's going to give you like a strong hold just with having that methyl cellulose as a second ingredient. I'm kind of expecting it to be kind of a strong stiff hole and I'm not really a strong stiff hole kind of girl like Marcus. So, so yeah, so we'll see. But well, I'm looking forward to giving you that review and I think they're looking forward to seeing the review because they did like email me when I did mention them like, okay, you're watching my video. Hello. Um, but yeah, so we'll see what I think. Of course, I'm going to keep it real with you guys. And then we have Curl Origin, which I'm also super excited about. And I think I also did get a fair amount of stuff kind of end to end with that as well. So I'm looking forward to these wash days. I love Black Friday because that's like when I get my products, I have like all these new products to try getting super hype. So I did get their new line, of course, because it's like the new new. <laughs> I got this Marula and Quinoa like uplifting shampoo. I don't know what's uplifting about the shampoo. I guess we'll find out. But like I said, I've been looking into, I told you guys I was going to get a lot of shampoos and I guess I did. I got three out of four things I bought. It has the 
cocoa bitty which I like I wish my shampoos just had that but it has like a cocoa side which most shampoos tend to have I guess okay making it a little stronger and then it has the quinoa which I guess is good like I said I need the protein these days and then like just the aloe and stuff for moisture but it's not like super duper moisturizing like I guess I gave or something but hopefully it's not super stripping and we'll see so the ingredients moisture mania hair mask so again don't mind if i do in terms of getting a little bit of protein and this also has some moisturizing ingredients the beet sugar for one has some meal honey also which sounds great and then the quinoa milk and the oatmeal extract so i'm seeing protein i'm seeing moisture don't mind if i do flaxseed curl defining gel so don't mind if i do like i said i wanted something a little more natural and this is definitely giving it to me it does have like xanthan, flaxseed, beet sugar, like this is the kind of gel formulation I like in terms of no plastics, no kind of cheaper synthetic. So I'm excited to try this. It does seem super runny, which is a little bit making me a little nervous, but yeah, it's supposed to be a lightweight gel with flaxseed. I don't even know what to tell you all at this point. Because the flaxseed is the second ingredient. Flaxseed is a kind of strong whole thing. But then it's very watery, so maybe it's a lot of water and just a little flaxseed. But I'll try it and I'll let you guys know what I think. Not what I expected in terms of how runny it is, but we'll see how it works out. Definition and hold. Sounds like the plan. So, but it also says it's like lightweight. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Excitement, excitement. This is the Black Friday haul for you guys. That's why we love it. <laughs> All the surprises, like when things actually come, is it different from the description or not, or what? So then of course I also got from the new line, yeah. And this also has like the metallic kind of thing, like both this and she said to give us some metallic. But this is just a little darker, I want to say. And I kind of like this color just a little bit better, even though it's just like a shade different. But I do kind of like this color just a little bit better. Like this is like, ooh. And this is like, hmm. I got us leave in whipped cream, so I'm excited to try this. I'm kind of getting into like the slightly thicker, slightly creamier leave-ins. Not super thick and creamy, trust me, but just slightly. Like, mmm, mmm. And this feels, this sound by the description, like it'll probably be there, so I'm excited to try that. I see the honey for moisture, I see the BTMS and the typical stuff. I love hibiscus in my products, and I'll just be excited to see what this whipped cream part of it is about and if the texture has anything to do with whipped cream more moisture please deep conditioner yes 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 please i see the mild honey and the beet sugar so i'm kind of like satisfied that the moisturizing humectants are there moisture mania hair mask and then more moisture please deep conditioner i recommend curl origin especially if you like slightly heavier products that she scented Definitely give coloration a try. That's where you want to be heading because it's still super moisturizing. Oil and gel, coil and custard. It has the xanthan gum and the hydroxyl ethyl cellulose. Most likely it's going to probably swing in that kind of, I probably have to re-wet thing, but I'm not 100% sure yet. You know, you can always hope that the agave will counteract that. We'll see. But I'm still looking forward to trying it because I do want to find more gels that I like. Like, I can't love a million deep conditioners and like 5 gels, 10 gels, like I want to love more gels. And that's pretty much what I use, like I shampoo, I deep condition, I use the leave-in and I use the gel, so yeah, that's pretty much it. And I have this other jelly as well, so just going in for the gels. And this one looks good too, this one has pectin really high up, so that's making me hopeful. And then it has some cellulose like kind of far down. I've noticed a lot of like companies kind of using a little mix of both, like not just pure PVP, not just pure carbama, but a little bit of pectin, a little bit of carbama. I just wish they would go all pectin, but that's why I guess I have my DIY. Um, but anyway, I'm looking forward to trying this. I like the pectin especially because that tends to be even more softening than the xanthan. So maybe that will be the thing, and this will be the new gel that makes it to the podium we'll see but i'm liking the fact that it has the honey and stuff honey and beet sugar and the pectin and stuff so this i'm expecting hoping for good things from so yay she sent it yay so i have like a double plan one is to try all the old stuff i haven't tried i still didn't get to all but i got to pretty much everything except the rice water line or rice line and i got the new new i got the plum nectar and i gave all right so i guess i'll start with the new new because i know that's what you guys want to hear about so let me start with that i already used it cheat it's in my hair right now double cheat 
but it's hard to wait until my whole video to really use this new stuff you all know that y'all can understand and appreciate that yeah from next turn i gave kill perfection shampoo Curl Perfection is here and over there, but I like the idea of a shampoo with plum nectar and agave because I know it's going to moisturize my hair and not be stripping, or at least that's the hope, and that was what happened. That was the truth. Love the shampoo. Spoiler alert. These are the ingredients. And it really lived up to its ingredients in terms of being cleansing and moisturizing. I left it in pretty long, but my hair wasn't stripped. So yay for that. Water and then plum, then the cleansing, cocoa betaine and the decal glucoside. We winning. So I, it does have a polyquat 7, so polyquat alert, but it didn't impact my hair and if it doesn't impact my hair, pretty much everybody is safe because when I use the product with polyquats and it's bad, like I can actually feel it on there and I didn't feel it on there. Moisture rich hair mail and I just want to try every, she sent the conditioner, like everything she sent it pretty much. So I got this, wasn't even a question, I was going to get it. But I do like that she has plum pretty much second in all the products in this line. The plum there is the humectant, agave nectar also a great humectant and like the typical BTMS and stuff. Spoiler alert, loved it also. And so I don't want to try it first because it'd be hard to not tell you all, not spoil it, but you know, I have to try it. I was like, I need to try something new. And I got the leave-in and styling here, yogurt. Um, spoiler alert, I loved it, okay. These are the ingredients, again, pretty much water, plum, and then leave-in-y things. I like that it has the agave nectar and everything. It did give me a lot of moisture and definition. It's like a light cream that spreads really easily. So it stays on your hand, but then it spreads really easily. So it's like perfect for me. Made it easy to apply and easy to control how much product I put, which I loved. Definitely repurchasing new favorite leave-in from She Scented. Spoiler alert, spoiler alert. It. but yeah next we have the curl perfection styling custard this kind of it gives you a lot of moisture gives you hold gives you definition gives you like a soft flexible hold if you like she sent a stylus definitely give it a try I don't know how I haven't heard much from you guys about she sent a stylus so let me know what you think about the she sent it custards and jazz you try down below because I haven't been hearing much from you guys about that but yeah I did get this it's in my hair right now and I am enjoying my results let me show you the ingredients and the last of the new new I got was this curling syrup and I actually can't spoil it for you because I didn't get a chance to try it because the custard itself just felt like enough I didn't feel like I wanted to go and add anything more plus I wanted to be able to tell you exactly just how this custard works on its own these are the ingredients for it so it's supposed to be basically just like a light curl enhancing oil serum so it's not really meant to be a gel on its own so my plan is to use it like as a topper over like some harsh gel like over maybe extreme wet line or something but I haven't gotten to that yet coming soon so next we have the older stuff i didn't get a chance to try marula mallow moisture rich milk so i'm looking forward to trying this i do like other hair milks that still pretty much leave-ins because i don't usually like hair milks but with her hair milk it's still pretty much a leave-in so i will be using it as a leave-in show you the ingredients she sent it to the ingredients it does have like some shea butter so it definitely does look very hair milky in terms of the ingredients but i will try it and let you guys know what i think the papaya perfect coiling milk so i love the papaya line rinse out conditioner again mostly she sent it to the ingredients water humectants and like your fatty alcohols basically and it does have some hydroxyl ethyl cellulose at the bottom which will give it probably a slight hold and then again similar i got this apricot and illipi softening milkshake so let me know if you've tried any of these because again i'm late to the party these are the ingredients i don't mind butter in the leave-in the dc tends to be a bit much based on the formulation in the leave-in i usually am fine with it and i got some masks because of course i have to try all the she scented deep conditioners that's not even a question but i mean all that don't have like silicones and stuff and i don't know which ones do and i don't think a lot do but i always read ingredients because you can't be too careful these days even lines that never used to have silicones and stuff suddenly do so i just read them just in case but anyway so we have the Marula Mellow Miracle Hair Melt Mask. The honey is in there, fatty alcohols in there, aloe vera in there. We should be safe. Avocado Moisture Max Mask. So I know a lot of people love the avocado rinse out conditioner. It wasn't really my favorite. I prefer the papaya just because it was probably a bit more buttery and a bit less like humectant -y. If that, I'm making up that word, but you know what I mean. It still does have the humectants and stuff, 
but the conditioner was a bit kind of more rich and creamy so I'm thinking the deep conditioner might be the same but I'm willing to try it and I'll tell you guys what I think macadamia fixing gel another gel this one has the acrylics as the whole product I don't use acrylics a lot as a gel so I'm just curious about it I do love the like color and texture but I'm curious about how it's gonna work for me and I guess you're curious too because I have even had people asking me about it when they saw the picture it says medium hold might be big here day but like I said I don't care about that I have a little extra couple surprises for you guys Coming up. I have the She Said That Okra line. I won it in the giveaway. I'm mostly excited about the deep conditioner. Let me show you the ingredients. I just love Okra. Like, I even use Okra in my DIY gel. So, anything Okra, I'm already here for it. I'm just expecting this to be super moisturizing. It also has a little bit of protein, which is great for me. Vitamin O acids, hydrolyzed keratin. Bring it, bring it, bring it. Because I don't do protein treatments much anymore. The conditioner I also love, but this is a very mild protein treatment. It's more just kind of a moisturizing treatment. And I expect the mask pretty much to be the same. Just super moisturizing ingredients with a bit of protein. Okra is super moisturizing. Okra Repair Hair Stimulating Spray. So again, like sprays, I don't use very often at all. But I do think that this is like a really good spray in terms of the ingredients. If you're looking for like a really healthy face, hair and scalp nourishing spray, give this a try. Oops, I'm back. Technical difficulties. I thought about putting on the same shirt, but like with my hair, you'll be able to tell it's like the next day in all its day three glory and volume. So forget it. It's used with the end of that last recording, so I'm doing it over for you guys. I'm just doing it over the end because that took a long time. Anyways, yeah, <laughs> so I was raving about the okra. I was saying the deep conditioner looks super moisturizing and awesome and okra is already moisturizing. So okra plushy scented deep conditioner, mind blown. Then I was saying the protein treatment was my original favorite protein treatment before the Kilovision Maracuja. So I'm definitely looking forward to using it for the good times. I think that's, who's that? Who's that? For the good times. It's like Al Green said. And I was looking at the okra spray, which looked amazing. It had like garlic and black pepper and stuff, plus moisturizing ingredients. So I'm like, okay, I'm kind of hyped to try that too. Even though I don't really use sprays much, I just kind of put water and leave it in a spray bottle and that usually works really well. But I think I'll probably bring out that okra spray, I guess in the summer or something, like spring or summer. And let you guys know just what my experience with it is and i was about to get to the oils when things went south in the filming department so here i am <laughs> after a little recap <laughs> to show you this okra repair scalp stimulating growth oil what i like about these purchased oils is that they usually include some humectant as well so i feel like they're softer and more moisturizing than just my plain oil mixes you can see it also has some aloe vera in there as well as the various oils not saying that i'd actually go as fast as purchase oils but if oils come my way, then I will definitely enjoy using them. And I have so many oils and stuff right now that I think for all of next year, I probably won't have to DIY. Maybe I could just buy like dried aloe, I guess, and start to infuse and see if that like boosts my DIY. I'm getting ideas here. So pretty much this okra line isn't like a full wash day. It's just a collection of treatments. I wouldn't use the deep conditioner and the conditioner at the same time. I would just like cleanse and then use either one. And everybody should just have the okra line in their stash. It's like multivitamins for your hair, I guess. I got my first Kovacs. What? <laughs> Kovacs. What? <laughs> So basically the Curlbox and Adwa had some kind of like sale going and I was like, I'm really curious to try Adwa. Everybody keeps talking about Adwa and it's like, it doesn't look all that appealing to me ingredients wise, but people keep saying it's like the best thing ever, you have to try it. So I'm just gonna like trust some of these YouTubers and give it a try based on that. And then I can let you guys know what's the real truth, if they're just hyping it or if it's really good. Balmint Moisturizing Shampoo. And I would say that most of the ingredients are very simple, they're not... She sent it to you, not exciting, you're not going to see any cute extracts, it's just like water, BTMS, oils and glycerin, so I don't know what the hype is. But, you know, I never know, suspending disbelief, whatever, I'm going to try it out. So let me show you what, what it's working with. This is supposed to be moisturizing, but between the three different surfactants or more, I see cocoa betaine, cocoa oil, isothionate, laurel glucoside, laurel lacolate, like... I don't know how this is going to be moisturizing, honestly. So there's aloe vera juice, glycerin, 
to kind of counteract that but aloe vera juice and glycerin really i don't see counteracting all those surfactants and then they also have benzyl alcohol i believe at the bottom of this so and there's a polyquad so i don't know skeptical for real if you like this let me know down below <laughs> if you like any of these ad work products let me know down below i'm skeptical but i'm willing to be a believer be weeber <laughs> i'm willing to change my mind if it works out but this is the shampoo and i do have kind of end to end i don't have a gel but i'm gonna probably do like a braid out or something Bowman deep conditioning treatment you can see and it's kind of similar to the shampoo in the sense of the main stuff minus all those surfactants i guess it has some shea butter pretty high up the only humectant i'm seeing in here really is glycerin it didn't even bless us with any aloe in here it said it's for dry hair so i guess that means it's supposed to be moisturizing but i don't see the moisture but we'll see i can't wait to try this just because of how skeptical i am i might be eating all these words bow mint leaving water butter glycerin peppermint nothing in here super exciting the benzyl alcohol again is kind of alarming that's supposed to be something to make your hair dry it's not the good alcohol it's not the good type supposed to make your hair dry faster i guess but it could just make your hair dry out i guess this one at least has aloe vera juice and glycerin which is kind of like the basics in most products i use this isn't really my kind of thing my hair kind of thing my hair is very low porosity very wiry and it needs humectants so i don't know curl defining cream and the oil blend beeswax which is not something that i would prefer to use at all gonna be having a good clarify session after this adult session i really don't know what's gonna happen let me try not to let me try to be more positive it's, it's the holidays but i can't the one only thing i'm excited about is the oils because they really can't mess up oils doesn't have any aloe in it because i guess that'll be too much trouble for this brand that keeps things very they're not putting anything they don't need to put basically definitely a water oils kind of line if you like this line let me know because <laughs> i'm being super skeptical and this last one i want to bring to you is part black friday haul part sale announcement i was able to order from gorgeously kinky yesterday i was looking out for their sale all black friday but they had like some technical issues so they weren't able to have the sale during black friday but they had it yesterday and i think it might still be on so the code is 60 off 60 off so big sale announcement go try it right now and see if that code is still active and you might be able to get 60 percent off on gorgeously kinky it's a kind of a small line so far so i wasn't able to order enough to get free shipping so i didn't even really try but i got five items like i think two deep conditioners to leave any things in the gel again it's kind of like one of those she scented clones the order confirmation email even came from nectar and main which i already tried and reviewed but you know what the hey i might as well try them all like i found curl origin so you never know another one that's similar to she scented might have something that's different or have some better products in there and stuff so i'm always willing to try it especially at 60 percent off i love the packaging customer service so far excellent because she actually responded to my dm and also they're supposed to ship it out soon so hopefully i'll even get it like this week or next week but that's it i'm done my black friday haul yay glad i could bring it to you guys i kind of want to do a roast video but you guys have been kind of good this year so i'm still thinking about whether to do it and what to say so so if you have any thoughts about trends we could leave in 2019 let me know i'm thinking should i in include instagram should i include just bad drivers like <laughs> you know what can i do to fill up a video or should i just skip it this year i don't know so let me know your thoughts on that down below as well and of course let me know what you guys got for black friday thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye